This is a little video tutorial on how to do the assignment in Unit 3 having to do with what is an atom. Maybe this assignment is going to be review for you because you've had physical science before and this means it'll go awfully quickly. It's just like a review or a pre-assessment to see what you already know about atoms. So to find this you go to the purple folder and you notice that I have now separated everything out into weeks because Unit 3 is going to be a little bit long. This is the stuff we did last week in the red folder. This is the stuff we're going to do this week. And in that orange folder, you will find what is an atom. And when I open that up, you will see your copy of a Google Doc. And first thing I'd like you to do is I would like to figure out what you already think an atom looks like. So to do that, you're going to draw a picture. And to draw this picture, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to double click on the rectangle. And when you double click on the rectangle, you can draw. Grab the scribble tool and you can draw a picture as you think an atom might look. Obviously that's not correct. So if you don't like what you just drew, you can click the select tool, select what you just drew, and hit backspace, and it goes away. And I'm going to do this really fast so you don't see my scribble when you open up the document. And hitting save and close is going to take you back to your copy of the document. Then you're going to be ready to open up the FET simulation build an atom. And if you had physical science, there's a good chance that you've seen this simulation before. And when you open up the simulation, you're going to be using the first two uh, tasks. The last task here, the game, that's for you to do for fun so you can test your knowledge of identifying different elements. Opening up the atom. To build the atom, you can take protons, throw them into the center of the atom, otherwise called the nucleus. And when you do that, the element symbol will appear on the periodic table highlighted. Here it is HT, and then the name will appear right above it. We built helium because helium has two protons. I can also figure out what's called the mass number by clicking this button. And it says the mass number of this particular element is going to be three because I've got two protons plus one neutron makes a mass number of three. Protons plus neutrons equals mass number. It also says that this is an ion. And it's an ion because usually in an atom you have the same number of protons and electrons. And if I could try to drag an electron into the nucleus, notice it doesn't work. It hangs out on the outside. And since the protons equal the electrons, when I have two electrons and two protons, I have what's a neutral atom, and the net charge is going to be zero. If I add another electron to it, notice that now I have a negative charge because I have extra negative things. So all of a sudden, I have a negative ion. And if I take electrons away, I'll have a positive ion because I have one less electron than I have protons. I can also tell whether or not this atom or ion will be stable or unstable by adding neutrons. Notice that's still a stable ion. All of a sudden I have too many neutrons there and the this particular version of helium, which we'll learn later is called an isotope, is now unstable. I can also choose here to use the cloud model as opposed to the orbit model. 
There's no real reason to switch in between these for this particular task. And if I go to the second simulation here, same exact thing to build the protons and the neutrons, to build the atom out of protons and neutrons. But now I get the element symbol. And I notice in the lower right, it's the same number as the number of protons in the nucleus. And the upper right is the same number as the mass number. Protons plus neutrons equal mass number. And since this is a ion, the charge of the ion is in the upper right hand corner. So this will be for you to play around with and then use this sim simulation to answer some questions. There are 11 questions here. Uh, use complete sentences and it's possible if you had physical science before, you could answer these questions without even doing the simulation. So hopefully this helps you uh, do the what is an atom assignment in unit three, week two. Thank you and have fun with it.